Welcome to the season finale of Game of Thrones. Uh, the season's been up and down. Um, I think that they really, the last few episodes have really come out to be uh, some of the best that we've had. So I'm asking everyone uh, what their favorite moment was from season five Game of Thrones. Personally, I loved the battle at Hardhome. I mean, other amazing moments, of course, was Danny riding the dragon, was Danny and Tyrion finally meeting. Like, that was, like, blew my mind. Them hanging out was awesome. Um, so let's see what everybody else likes, and then we'll watch the show, and we will talk about it afterwards. Probably, probably when Daenerys got on the dragon. Um, oh, I, oh, or, or the battle. Well, Wait, the White Walker battle. Oh. I like that one, actually. I changed my mind. White Walker battle. I liked the end of the White Walker battle, and the, the dude, the White Walker came out, was like, Master is. That was awesome. You can't watch. You can't watch three things. You can, you can record two in a one. Uh, I gotta say, anything to do with the Sand Snakes, they're just so awesome. Uh, I feel like that was sarcastic. A little bit. Um, the battle at Hardhome, for sure. The, uh, and John's fight with the White Walker. Uh, uh, in the books, you only, like, kind of, it happens off camera and you don't really know. It's like, you know, it's a thing. But to actually, like, see it and be there was awesome. All the people when they're on horses. I love it. I love horses. You love horses? <laughs> Who's your favorite character on a horse? Uh, Gwendolyn. Oh. I forgot his character's name. Yeah. Brienne? Yeah. Brienne. Like, that's all she's really tall. Like, really they showed, they had a thing. It's good. I don't know. Jenny? Jenny doesn't want to talk about it. Kelly doesn't want to talk about it. I'm moving around. Brandon also does not want to talk about it. <laughs> Now everybody's on the same <laughs> level. Everybody, book creators, yeah. show watchers. What did you think of the last episode? Um, there was a part of me, like a naive, hopeful part of me, that thought there might be a chance they wouldn't leave that as the cliffhanger, because it's, it's a cliffhanger in the books, too. Uh, there was a part of me that was like, oh, they'll, they'll cliffhanger, but then they'll come back and they'll show. And and of course they of course they didn't do that. They would never do that. They did it exactly right, and it's going to drive me nuts for a year. As a whole, good or bad? <laughs> Every episode of this show has been good. Yeah. Yeah. You're not reading back Will Smith? Yeah, I've liked every episode. Majority of the season on Sansa, and then didn't even like. Oh, I'm sorry. He's jumped too far. Give a conclusion. Hold on to being like actually really smart. Did she? She jumped into like really far. I was like, that's not a safe jump. You know, Bran fell that far. We know what happened now. I've been Danny being surrounded by the Death Rocky. Death Rocky. Man, that's gonna be not so sexy. Canadian okay. Because they're not her friends. They're not her Doth Rocky. <laughs> Those are, I think that's the guy that left. Remember when Drogo was sick and they all started leaving? Before the second season comes. But can't Drogon just come down and save her? And it'd be like, yo, Drogon! He's looking at his like a kid. You know? He's like, he's like, he's like, he's no. Listen, just because you wrote my back once doesn't mean you can do it all the time. Horrible. You were happy with the way this like, you know, oh, season, season ended? Oh, this is terrible. You want to try it? <laughs> okay, what did you think? Well, then real life will have. Why shouldn't he die in the TV show? I am really into the... I don't know why people are stuff. like on, on Facebook. And I was disappointed that there wasn't more in the episode. Oh, so done. Oh, oh, oh. I... They're really kind of sold at this video. So good that you care. Keep watching it. What do you think of the last episode of Game of Thrones? Season finale of Game of Thrones. That happened. Uh, I believe now we're all, everybody's caught up, kind of. I mean, except for the changes that have been made. Um, so let's kind of go over quickly what happened tonight, because I feel like a lot happened tonight. Uh, Danny being surrounded by the Dothraki. We don't know where that's going to go. And Drogon's all like, but I'm a kitty and I hurt myself, so I'm licking my wounds and I'm not going to go save you this time, Mama. Stannis looks like Bran. Got rid of him. But, oh, Arya. We had Arya who's now lost her sight because she tried to be no one. She did get to kill her guy, though, so she caught one off her list. She can't see now. It'll be interesting to see what ends up happening with Arya, you know, down there, and will she become no one and how she eventually does possibly become no one. Cersei in her walk of shame. That was actually more upsetting to me than I thought it would be. 
I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of like ready for it. I'm like, yeah, fuck Cersei. And then I was like, oh, this is really terrible. Like really, oh, uh, no, super terrible. Ooh, really, really, really awful, terrible. Actually, there's not a lot of good things that happened in this episode. I mean, we got Sam going to the Citadel, our old town, and um, got some funny comments about uh, John and Sam like growing it up about having sex and stuff. And that was pretty funny. So there was like one lighthearted moment in this entire episode. Same cliffhanger that we had in the books. Um, so everybody's like, you couldn't just give us like, like, I don't know, a little bit more, like, maybe he warged. I don't know. Like, oh, uh, just, you left him there with his eyes open. Like, it's really, it's looking like he's really dead, not just like a little bit dead, like a kind of dead, like really, he's looking really like lots of blood. So this season, had its ups and downs. I think there uh, were a lot of really great things that happened. Um, I don't know how on earth we're going to be waiting for a year to find out about John. Um, we do know that Kitts has a contract for the next two seasons, so maybe he'll be a White Walker. I don't know. So this season had its ups and downs. I think there uh, were a lot of really great things that happened. Um, I don't know how on earth we're going to be waiting for a year to find out about John. Um, we do know that Kitts has a contract for the next two seasons, so maybe he'll be a White Walker, I don't know. So I guess everybody's a little bit upset, but uh, we have a long time to sit around and stew about it. Uh, if you like watching me talk about television shows, you can subscribe to my page. You can do that by clicking here. and. Uh, we are going to be coming at you from Comic-Con, and I'll be covering it for popcultbinge.com. So we're going to have all kinds of Comic-Con coverage on this website. You're going to have television, films, video games. We'll all be coming at you with uh, as much information as we can get to you. Um, so hopefully I'll uh, see you guys soon. Bye.